Right here on the Freakers Ball, y'all. That's right. This is Grimner. This is the Freakers Ball. I am live. Moose Girl will be along shortly. It is October 9, 2020. And here we are, once again, Friday night. You know, crazy-ass world that we're living in, and we're still here. We're still coming at you every freaking week. Every freaking week. Uh, <laughs> right here on the reallibertymedia.com. And RLMRadio.xyz. Also, for additional video feed uh, outlet there is Vaughn.live slash Real Liberty Media. Uh, and the audio stream goes all kinds of places, so uh, check that out should you so desire. But uh, you can get there from those places I just mentioned. Howdy, Moose. Hey, how's it going? Oh, it's going. Good, good. <laughs> Yeah, Good. it's going. Um, Better than not going. As we say. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so every, everything's fine. Um, I mean, Good. Yeah, as well as can be expected uh, in this, this world. Right. This I was just, yeah, I was just thinking. Stuff. Let's yeah, just cram everything we can possibly think of into one freaking year. Oh, I'm telling you, man. I, I'm, I'm Let's waiting. Let's just do it all in one year. I'm waiting for the for the Godzilla, the meteor, and, and aliens. <laughs> I think that's all that's left, right? Still got a little bit, a couple more months, Grim. I think that's all that's left is Godzilla, uh, the meteor, yes, ali- and, and aliens. The meteor yeah. and what? Alien invasion. Right. Yeah. I mean, those are the. I mean. Uh, that you know. that would that would put the icing, the finished icing, on the cake there. Right. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> We've had pretty much everything, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. This is over the top, dude. The, the whole world's insane, man, the whole world. It is. I, 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 it just look, you know. I, I, Hurricanes, fire. I mean, not that we don't have that every year, but. Yeah, riots. We all this extra and, shit, rioting and ugh. The fake ballots and ballots thrown in trash cans, and, <laughs> and you got these two moron presidential idiots up there yelling at each other. Bah, 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 why don't you shut up? Exactly, Rob. Why don't you shut up? And, and, and the other one just oh going off God. about whatever. And apparently, he right. was, uh, the, uh, Trump was on the uh, radio today, and, and yeah, apparently, and, and people got upset because he said. To, the uh, F word. He said to Iran, don't you fuck with us. And, and apparently <laughs> fuck is, you know, an upsetting thing. After everything that's gone on this oh year, the word fuck still upsets some people. Um, <laughs> I, I guess so, even though it's allowed on TV and in <laughs> movies. And, you know, uh, that's okay. I, I, I mean, just put it into context, you know. Right. Uh, I don't, you know, just, it people take this nothing. shit way too seriously. Uh, I mean, it, seriously, it, it, they, it's... <laughs> It's like, come on now. Oh, boy. Wow. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I get standing up for your cause, dude. You know, if that's what you got to do, stand up for whatever cause it is. But that doesn't give you the right to force it down my fucking throat. No. It but, doesn't. It doesn't give you the right to come up on me and start fucking yelling at me and saying this, that, and the other thing, and I should be doing this, and I should think exactly like you and be just like you. Um, no. Sorry, right. that's not how it works. Okay? Ex- it. Yep. Everyone is you, themselves. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Everyone's entitled to what they be live or not be live, right? Exactamundo. So... To sit here and say, well, I'm right and you're wrong and this, that, and the other thing, and this is, you know, I just hear the, you're wrong, you're wrong, be like me. But they don't tell me why. No. They don't tell me shit. Well, they they, they heard it on the TV. And, I guess. And, and <laughs> since, it, since it was on the TV, then you got to follow. The TV is your God, don't you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and, and then yeah, I, I mean you know you got like um, uh, this this group of scientists says A and the other one says B, and right. 
and whichever one the TV said, well, they're the ones. They're the only ones. That, that, that's, that's, that's the ones. If you don't follow the, the, the agenda-driven science, then, then you're anti-science. Right. <laughs> yes, it's God's mouth. You mouthpiece. can't win for losing this this year, dude. You, you just can't. You can't take a stand on anything. No, no. Without being getting someone else's panties in a wad. Okay. Now, now I've heard you're people, not allowed to do that. I, I, here. I've heard okay. people here on RLM radio say, you know, mm -hmm. they went out, everything was fine. Uh, you know, without mm -hmm. their without the mask, when they went out barefaced, yeah. barefaced. Um, no, <laughs> and 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 there was no problem. They could go into whatever store; everything was fine. Nobody came up and confronted them. And that's the same with me. But I do get the stink eye from a bunch of a bunch of people. Um, I just ignore that. I, I know, but but you, you see just it. Like, you yeah, just like you just like whatever. You see it. They're you know, looking. You don't, at, no one says anything. No, no, no they're, they're looking at you yeah. like they're like they're in shock that you could somehow wander outside without that piece of shit on your face and 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 right. think that, that was okay. <laughs> like how can you do that? Yeah. Don't you know there's a fucking deadly pandemic going on? Oh yeah, super deadly. They're like, yeah, well, you know, there was deadly shit that before this too. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. Oh, yeah, man. fuck it the fuck fuckity fuck. <laughs> a slayer. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I swear. You know, oh. all these fucking Christians out there. Okay. Thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain. That's a commandment, right? Yeah. So that really means that saying, God damn it, or God damn you to hell, that's the real swear words right there, dude. Well, I, I don't take it. I mean, you're, you're taking the Lord's name in vain, but saying "fuck." See, I don't. That I don't, is not taking the Lord's name in vain. Okay. I, I don't. So, I don't. I don't. Whatever. Take, I don't take uh, saying "God damn it" or uh, <laughs> I, I don't take that as as taking the Lord's name in vain. What I would well, take to a Christian. I mean, I'm not well, talking no, I, to people I know, like but, you, well, Graham, but, but you but, know what I'm saying. But what I but what I would take as taking the Lord's name in vain would be to say like. I am God, or I am, <laughs> right. I, am I am the yeah, Lord. Pretending you that, are that, God. -like. Yeah, then yes. that, that's taking it in vain because you're saying, you know, right. The, basically, that that you're the same. You know, you're uh, uh, you're godlike. Yeah, there are right. people that believe that they are. There so, are people so, that, that so, are in the world that actually think they are fucking godlike. So that to me yeah. is is taking the Lord's name in vain, swear or not, and none of these swears. Um, <laughs> are are taking the Lord's name in vain? It was just some uptight assholes that came up with these these things. Oh, these are right. swear words. You can't you can't say those. Those are meant to shock or or surprise people. So right. therefore, because if you're if you're not you know being a part of polite society, I don't um, know about your house, but there was a lot of cussing going on in my house. I, you know, I don't know. Oh well, it was allowed for for the for the stepfather. He, yeah, he was Certain allowed. People were allowed. To he, cuss. he was he was allowed <laughs> to, to cuss like hell, and uh, nobody else was. Uh, I I remember one time, and I was probably like <laughs> seven, six, seven years old. Yeah. And and uh, there was a bunch of us. We were sitting around the the dinner table. There It wasn't dinner or anything. I, I don't yeah. forget why we we're sitting there. It doesn't matter. Um, but they were all. Well, he, somebody told a joke, and they all go, oh, shit, 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 shit. And, and, and so I, uh -oh. uh, I didn't know. I, I said, shit, uh -oh. uh, like they did. And, and they all stopped, froze in their tracks, turned and looked at me, like, with these glaring eyes, like, what the hell did you say? Right, like, how dare you? You're a child. <laughs> and I'm just like, you know, I was just saying what you guys said. and you, every, I'm just repeating what I heard. Yeah, because one of them would say shit, and the other one would laugh, and the other one would say shit, and the other one would laugh. And I was like, oh, I'll get a laugh. <laughs> shit. Oh, well, that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, and then there's a scene in um, A Christmas Story. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you remember the scene because you've only seen that movie like one time. But anyway, they get a flat tire and the dad's all pissed off, right? Mm-hmm. And so the kid, he he wants the kid to come out and help him, you know? All right. And he says, here, hold this or something. And something happens and he says, oh, fuck. 
But they bleeped that out. But you know what he said, right? Right. You can tell what he said or whatever. So then he ends up getting his mouth washed out with soap. <laughs> or has to sit there with the bar of soap in his oh, mouth God. for like however long. I, I, I just, he, his dad, it's okay for his dad to say it, but not. Yeah, well, I, I just him. had, I just had to same go to, story, same thing. I, I just had to go to my room. I, I didn't have any. <laughs> <laughs> you get in your room, you little bastard. <laughs> yeah, uh, nice, nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Great. Little... I mean, back in the day, that is how it was. Yeah. That's how it was. That's oh, how people talk. Yeah, well. Yeah. Where I was from, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know how boy. for other people, but I can only go by what I know, what I experienced. Yeah. Yeah, that's all they can go by, you know. Yeah. But whatever Everyone's whatever. got different things that they go through, apparently. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Yep, Colin was awesome, Rob. No doubt about it. But I'm trying to think of something else to talk about besides freaking shit. <laughs> Crazy <laughs> shit that's going on. I, I like, let's talk about weed or something. Weed! The answer. Or sex or drugs or rock and roll. Well, weed is not real. I don't really consider weed a drug, but... Okay. Well, when we come back from this first opening okay. break here, we'll talk about some I don't other... think we should talk about this crazy shit that's been going on. We've been talking about this shit since fucking January, dude. I know. I know. The end of January. I know. There's or some other something. stuff. I have some other stuff. Okay. But I think so. I'm just, it's like... We'll see. We'll see what we got. I don't know. I, okay. I mean, we'll, we'll have to make stuff up as we go along. All right, that's fine. We're, yeah, we, we can we, do that. We can do that. We've done it before. We can do that. We have done that before. Oh, yeah. All right. So anyway, let's... <laughs> All right, everyone. Enjoy the music. Thanks for tuning in. Happy Freaky Friday. Yeah. Enjoy. Um, um, Jeff Beck. Yeah. Thanks, Leo. <laughs> Leo Maracci only there covering Blue Oyster Colts. Don't fear the Reaper. Oh, man, that's a great version, too. Uh, before that, ACDC Hell's Bells with a video scenes there from Maximum Overdrive, the film by Stephen King. And we kicked it off with Jeff Beck. And it says here's Easy Top, but it was just Billy Gibbons uh, covering Ernie Ford's 16 Tons. Oh boy, <laughs> that's a good that's a good set, a good rocking set there to kick us off here on uh, this evening. What? Hang on a second, I'm gonna change settings. Hang on. All right, all right. I think I heard a but but but. <laughs> okay, all right. What the hell? What the well, it's like because I I have to change back to headset after the songs are done. And I usually try to do that when I'm not on the air. <laughs> ah, I see, I see. Okay. Stop that. Whoa. Stop that. Oh. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Grim, what was your first computer, and what age were you when you had one? I had an Atari, um... Uh, the first one was that actually, was like a video game thing, right? Yeah, no, no, it was, it was a twenty six hundred XL. It was it oh, was a computer okay. had you know a keyboard. Um, you plug it into a little television, and and it had a cassette tape drive. That was the only drive. A cassette uh, tape drive? What? <laughs> yeah, cassette tape. Um, That's crazy. Yeah. I've never even knew that such a thing existed. Oh yeah, really? Yeah, well, I I eventually wound up buying the. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, 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 the five and a quarter floppy for it, okay. but, uh, but uh, I don't know if you ever used the five and a quarter floppies. Uh, 
No, well, I did in school. Okay. Well, once once the the ones came out for like PCs and stuff, they were uh, seven twenty yeah. or, or or three sixty uh, kilobytes. Um, but but I had uh, the, oh yeah, the, I remember those. Yeah, okay. But but the Atari, the the floppy drive on that was single sided, one hundred eighty kilobytes um, is what it held. <laughs> oh, that was the data storage. That was a, well. That eventually, like I said, I had a cassette. I had the cassette tape was my only storage for a while. Um, but I wrote. I wrote a lot of programs. I, I learned programming on that thing. Um, I was using that was DOS, right? Atari Basic. Uh, well, it was Atari DOS, but Atari Basic uh, was was the language uh, okay. that, that I used. But once I yeah, the furthest uh, we got was the Atari video game thing with Pong on it. Yeah. Yeah. And there was a couple other games on there, but they were so basic and archaic. Like, there was no graphics at all. Pong was very basic. Yeah. Pong is exactly what it sounds like. A ball going from one side of the screen to the other. <laughs> it was, right. you know. Yeah, Rob, single-sided yeah. five and a quarter, but the uh, the ones on the Atari uh, were single density as well, rather than the dual density they came out with. So 180 uh, kilobytes per, per disc. Um, and then eventually I, I did, I uh, got uh, uh, a, a, a PC, uh, it was XT. So what was the use of it, though? Like, well, what was the purpose of having it at that time, just for coding and co doing program, learning, learning programming? Yeah, it, or, you could, it all... Because that, there was no games or anything, or was there chat rooms? Or, I mean, there, I, was I, higher, there were chat rooms, right? Well, no, there was no internet. <laughs> no internet, but chat rooms. No, no. Uh, well, w w once uh, when I eventually got my 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 desktop, my first desktop computer. Okay, uh, which was, was what? It was a K Pro XT. Um, okay. And and uh, then I, I uh, then eventually I bought a modem because there were there was no modem in that. Eventually I got a modem. Um, okay. That might have been when I upgraded to a two eighty six though. I think that was when I upgraded to a two eighty six. Okay. I got a modem. Uh, and then I was able to connect to bulletin board systems, BBSs, as they're commonly okay. known. And on okay. the BBSs, there was everything. I mean, um, okay. Well, <laughs> there was there was a lot of stuff uh, that you yeah. that you could do that uh, that you could download. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, I started off with a uh, what was it? Um, Fourteen? No, it was less. It was. I forget. I forget what it was. It was a really slow modem. Um, okay. Uh, anyway, but you could connect, and and you, and they had um, uh, the news groups there, and you could log mm -hmm. on to the news groups and chat, kind of chat with people. Um, okay. And I, I always got a kick out of it. I didn't, although I never really engaged. A Forty-eight hundred? Mm -hmm. No, uh, twenty-eight hundred. Twenty-eight hundred bot, I think, was was my first one. Um. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> eventually, eventually working my way up to the 56k uh, modems. Yeah, but <laughs> and then and then getting two 56k and that modems. That was dial up, right? Or yeah, oh yeah, that was that was dial, that was dial okay. up. Eventually yeah. getting two 56k modems and shotgunning them is what it was called. Uh, yeah, so you could go up to 128k. Woohoo! Um, <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, but they had they had everything on the on the uh, on the uh, on Usenet, you know, all, all the different stuff on the bulletin boards. Um, mm -hmm. uh, they had places for for downloading, you know, games and other stuff. So uh, uh, okay, right. software back then was tiny, tiny in comparison. What was back then? What was so software? Oh, so yeah, yeah. You, you could write time. you could write a one kilobyte software application that was very functional. And today, one kilobyte is nothing. You can't, you can't even fit the header information into one kilobyte. Um, <laughs> which, <laughs> so most programs today are, you know, uh, hundreds of megabytes into the gigabytes, and some some are actually terabytes. Uh, some of these programs they have today. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually have, still have a copy of those Windows ninety five floppies. floppies. Oh my god. I, 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 so, well, those those are the three and a half inch. Uh, one point one point four megabyte floppies, yeah. Wow, one point, that's crazy. So I, I still have I still have a set of those floppies. I don't. I'll, although yeah, I, although I probably worth something. To write. Someone probably wants them. To I'll, although I don't have a drive to put them in, but um, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, I do have a drive on this on, on this one computer over here. I'm looking at which I haven't turned on in about twelve years. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's running a, some version of uh, Nopix Linux on it. Wow. Which How never, old is I, that? What, what's that? How, how old is that one? Well, at least 12 years. Like I said, I haven't turned it on that long. Um, is that a floppy disk port? Yeah, it's still got a three and a half inch floppy. Oh, and, holy shit. And, and it's still <laughs> that be older than 12 years old, Graham, don't you think? The computer's older than that. But I, yeah, that's um, what I meant. That's what I meant. How old is that computer? I don't know how old it is. Uh, probably 20, 20 years. Yeah, because if it's got a floppy disk port or whatever you call it, slot, yeah. whatever you... Well, it makes a nice end table. Um, yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> I put stuff sitting on top of it. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, but... Uh, 20... Once I, I moved into into the, the desktop PC and I had, right. uh, I think DOS 2.8 mm -hmm. or something like that on it. Okay. Um, I think I learned on like DOS 2.0. Yeah, and then, and then DOS okay. had its own it had its own kind of basic, which was not actually compatible with the Atari Basic. So I, no. I couldn't move <laughs> I, I couldn't move my programs directly over. I had to rewrite everything, and then right. um, and that was Q Basic. That's what it was called. Q Basic. Was uh, the basic? Okay, I remember that. There that, was basics and there was DOS. Yeah, and then uh, yeah. eventually, eventually uh, uh, it, they came out with their own different kind of basic that was better. And then when Windows three came out, is uh, I think when I first got. That uh, was like in the eighties, right? Or was that later? That was nineties. That was nineties. Oh nine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think I well. Might I have been eighties. No, it was late eighties. You're right. Late eighties. Okay. Yeah. Late eighties. Yeah. So I was thinking, and then. They really took off in the nineties. Oh yeah, Computers sure, sure. I sure. mean, yeah, because it, you know, it was, it was exploding at that. Time. I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get internet till ninety five. Okay, yep. Um, I, I had internet access before that, but I, I had to go to someone else's house to use their internet. I, I was very. I didn't personally have it. I, I was very hesitant about using the internet. I said, ah, mm -hmm. I got the BBS here. I mean, that's everything. I, what else could you want? I, I, I don't. I, what, what is this internet thing? This ain't gonna last. <laughs> <laughs> How wrong you were, yeah, friend. Yeah, but uh, so eventually, <laughs> what one day I was I was uh, checking out buying some stuff at Comp USA. I don't know if you remember Comp USA. Oh yeah. Okay. Yep. So uh, and there at the uh, register, they had all these AOL discs, right? Um, right. Oh yeah, I remember AOL. You bet. And, or or was it? They Net... sent them out free in the mail. No, 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 no. It was Netscape. It was Netscape. Uh, oh, Net Nutscape. Net, 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 Netscape. Netscape. Yeah. Netscape was the one I had. Um, <laughs> was the one I the first my first internet connection. I had that. I was had via Netscape. Via, yeah. via Netscape. You just plug the floppy in, and it goes yeah, through, I and then that. you had to go through all this stuff to configure your modem to work with their system. And then eventually right. it was I, a pain I, in the ass because okay. you didn't know what you were. It took a while. Okay, so you eventually, didn't know what you were doing. Yeah. anyway, I I logged on to the internet and through the Netscape interface there, yeah. and they had these like I don't know seven eight icons showing you different things you could do. Right. And one of those icons was IRC. Oh, okay. That was the first. That was my first thing I clicked. Let's see what the hell this is. So I so I clicked on the IRC icon there in the Netscape interface. And it took me to um, the hell's that network? AOL. No, 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 an IRC network. No, no, it was not Mark. It was it was Netscape's own version of IRC. Oh, I, oh whatever, whatever it was. IR, oh, IRCQ. No, no, not I, AOL. I on, being Netscape, on, on Netscape. IRCQ. That was like a. IRC, IRCQ was a, a talk program. Right. It but, was like, well, yeah, where you could actually talk to people. Or something, yeah. Yeah, where you could actually talk to people. Right, um, that's what I remember, yep. For me. You I'm know, trying to remember. It was, it was a huge network. F, F, right, exactly. Fnet. Uh, and so I logged on to Fnet. Boom. Because that's where, that's where it took me, because that, that was the big network right, back then. Right, right. So I, I logged on to Fnet, and um, it, it, it shows you, like, all this huge list of all these channels and stuff. And, and so the first channel I found was IRC Bar, and I go in. I go into IRC, okay. and I go into IRC Bar, and there's I don't know how many people are in there. A whole, whole bunch of people, hundred people in there, talking. Yeah. On FNet, and they had this bot in there named Barman. <laughs> 
and it was it was an egg drop. It was an egg drop bot named Barman. Okay. <laughs> and um, and uh, and and you know, I, I was I was I was a total noob, total noob. There I had no idea what was going on. Um, and within a couple of days, people had me on Merc. So I I, I got Merc, and then um, I started Good. mimicking a lot of the things uh, through the through the Merc scripting program the uh, MSL it's called Merck scripting language um and that and that was the birth of barman um my barman oh, cool. my barman not their bar yeah. their barman okay. was of course their their I, I couldn't be you know I couldn't I, I didn't have any idea what egg drop was and <laughs> fnet fnet was uh was was the wild west uh, there, there was no um, there was no services yeah. there was no services there. You didn't have Nick serve and you didn't have Chan serve uh, or anything else. So right. um, people would come in at, to to the channel and take it over during splits because during a split, um, yeah, yeah, I was on Fnet, Chloe. Um, <laughs> that was my that was my intro to IRC. That was pretty much the beginning. That was. Uh, before I before I ever opened a browser, I opened the IRC thing because I didn't know oh, what a browser. people say that? I had no idea what a browser was. Uh, you know, you didn't have browsers on BBSs. Uh, <laughs> you had like little text based menu and stuff. Right. Yeah, yeah it was you, very archaic. Yeah. yeah. So so anyway, um, my nick was I think at that point. <laughs> It was either nine, might have been nine, okay, which I still use, right. um, to this day. It's a carrot yeah. nine carrot, which I, I don't actually use, but it's mine. It's that's my primary nick. Um, all my accounts are linked to nine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Um, yeah. Anyway, so I, I so I learned a lot about IRC. Uh, through battling these people coming in and overtaking the channel, um, and, and 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 also in starting to code uh, using the Merck scripting language, which is basically like uh, the C language, uh, if you're familiar with that at all. Yep. Okay. Yep. So um, I had to learn that for jobs. You learn C. You know C. Well, I had to learn certain programs. I think it was, I can't remember the first one in the office that I used, but it was a DOS program. Okay, well, C is a language. It's not a program. Oh, well, C. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, never mind. C. I was thinking something else. Yeah. It's, it's a, just a C. No, I didn't do that. Okay. That's a, I, but I, you, I, you're a little bit ahead of my time because you had all this stuff before I did. And I was a geek. Um. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> so... So yeah, then uh, yeah. So then a couple of years later, I got you know after I had that. Well, it was probably three or four years later, I have to add that K Pro. K Pro was great. Um, now back then uh, there was uh, this thing when you're in DOS, which was called the 640K barrier, um, which means that the most memory you could have is six six hundred and forty kilobytes of memory. But but the K Pro I had. Had a, an additional 128k. I was I was zooming. I had 768k <laughs> k kilobytes, and wow. now now what do I have? 24 gigabytes, um, which that's a lot. <laughs> anyway, uh, and I had a, a Hercules a graphics adapter. Everything was in like orange. I had an orange tint monitor. Um, uh, yeah, I, I know. Man. I had that. I had that memory. Of, well, it was on the eighty eighty six, you know. It wasn't. Uh, uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> but when when I when I got my two eighty six, it had the turbo. It had the turbo speed shifter on there. I could go from eight to twelve megahertz. Megahertz. Ooh. Megahertz. And now we're at what three hundred or right. uh, gigahertz or third. Yeah, gigahertz. Yeah. Um. Uh. Three point four gigahertz. I think my current computer is here. Um. So uh <laughs> instead of uh but the uh the 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 XT was 4.77 4.77 gigahertz and then uh when I when I got the the 286 that was 8 or 12 mm -hmm. 
uh, not gigahertz, megahertz, 4.77 megahertz on on the XT, and then uh, moving up to that, maybe the 8 to 12 megahertz, and then uh, then went 386, 486, Pentium. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then after Pentium, you started getting... um, The Intel. Well, they were all Intel. Those are all Intel. Oh yeah, I I don't know. You're more of a geek than me. I yeah. can't. And, remember. and I had some AMDs along the way. You're talking about the processor, I know. That. Yeah, and I had some AMDs <laughs> along the way and stuff. So, yeah, Pentium two, right? Pentium three, Pentium four, and then I said, uh, uh, yeah, Celeron was never any good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that that was a budget. That was a budget processor. Now they have like it's all still a budget. To choose from. Still, and you're still like, a budget oh processor. God. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, then they, they went to the i, the i i i i three i five, i seven i nine. Yeah, uh, and I'm on an i seven here, sixty seven hundred. Uh, so it's the sixth sixth generation uh, i seven. Um, I mean, if you think about it, though, Dell made a lot of money and they're the main reason they did is because of what they were offering oh they were Dell. building people computers and they knew that people really didn't know how to do it themselves even though it's easy to do relatively mm-hmm. they took advantage of that fact oh well dell with you know, dell you know I mean? dell with the corporate route and corporate yeah. and schools oh, big time. Yep. They, they sold all their stuff to corporations and schools and apple took over the schools um uh, yep yeah, well, all the chips were rocking at their at their time when you got them brand new, because none of the I mean it, it was there was the new the new processor came out and then the, the, then eventually the software caught up to the processor, then exceeded the processor, then a new processor came out, and then you know yeah you need, there's always a need for more better graphics, uh, faster processor, more RAM, more hard drive. Um, and on I and think on. What Dell did though, Graham, is they they gave options to people of price levels. And they were able to give internet or computers to people that probably wouldn't have had one. You right. Know what I mean, when they first started out, I'm not saying they're good now, but their idea when they first started out was a good idea, I thought. Yeah. Yeah, no, that was great. I remember all the gateway computers and. Yep, gateway. <laughs> yep, the, yep. The, the big cow boxes. They came yep. <laughs> <clears throat> that was dull, wasn't it? Gateway. I thought that was Dell with the cow boxes. No, that was Gateway. Gateway had cow oh, boxes. Oh, okay. Well, you you know, they were both the same principle. No, Dell, Dell was, was like, dude, you're getting a Dell. A Dell. <laughs> 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 but it's, it's, I, I think that computer, and I, you know, I graduated in 85, so this was when it was just getting started, but and I'm sure it changed since then. But the only computer-type classes we had were called, like, word processing. Yeah. Where you use those goddamn <laughs> printers. Uh, the, the, uh, yeah, what are dot, they called? The dot matrix dot, printers? Dot matrix, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and those were pretty fun classes, See, though, because we knew it was, like, new technology, and they kept saying, you're going to need this in the future. See, we we didn't have we didn't we didn't we didn't have computer classes at, you know when I was in school, um, but there was we didn't really either. All we had was the word processing. That's as far as they went. You know but but I mean? they but had a, we, yeah. there there was a computer lab. But the only people that ever went right. in there were were the were the were the geeks, you know, with the tape. The in mega them. mega geeks. Yeah, with the tape in the middle of their glasses the and their pocket hotheads, pocket non stoner geeks, right? Pocket, pocket protectors and yeah, yeah. <laughs> the real geek geeks. <laughs> those those are like, the people that went in there. You're really geeky if you got a pocket <laughs> protector. Sorry. Oh, Donna was a midi girl. Oh. <laughs> but I mean, seriously, Graham, you and I are old enough to remember a pocket protector, <laughs> plastic. Pen pocket protectors, whatever they called them. Yeah. I mean, people actually use those when we were in school. Well, I had never used it in school, but I used them at work because... Right, uh, at work you had to because those pens leak so bad. Yeah, and they would get all over your smock. Right. Because I had to wear, you know, the... Ink out. I had, well, smock, lab coat. I always had to wear these lab coats. Oh, yeah, and they were yeah. white, right? Or some were blue, depending. Oh, okay. Well, uh, that's not bad then. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I think... Uh, 
you are cooler in the blue ones than you are in the white ones. Um, oh. <laughs> it depended where, where, what lab you worked in. Right, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, yeah, history of computers. Uh, that's great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Funny, Donna. And here we are now. and and Here know. we are in mega technology land. Uh, on these, so your refrigerator and, will and, tell and you just imagine, to really wipe your ass. Just imagine in ten years we'll be looking at these these i system these i based computers i nine i sevens and laughing at them right. when we have our light based computers or whatever the hell we have then. Um, and and we'll let, we'll look at these hard drives, these physical rotating mm-hmm. hard drives, and you know they already have. Uh, the 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 non physical they they have. The, I mean, uh, they're gonna go. They want to go. Some of these fucking crazy motherfuckers want to go so far as to do it. Put a computer in your goddamn head, dude. Yeah, well, Elon Musk wants to in do that. In your brain, yeah, neural link, whatever he calls it. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's a good idea. No, but uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it'll, it'll be some kind of light well, light well, based. What's the thing. monitor? Your 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 brain, I guess. Your eyes? Uh, <laughs> I guess your, I guess your brain. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I guess okay. you maybe I'm old, I too old fashioned or something, but I, don't, I just don't think that's a good idea. Instead of instead of I say, think that's that's trying to blend humanity with AI too much. You know what I mean? Well, I, I mean, if it's, it's not up, that it, humans are great, and you know, oh yeah, we've been a fucking bitch to this planet. You know, I mean, <laughs> to we say the least, this night, dude. To say the least, if humans are. I mean, but, the planet's going to be fine. It's the humans that might not make it, and if they're going to fucking try to make us half human, half robot, I don't know. It's going to be totally different. Yeah, you remember? You remember the movie Hackers, right? Yep, yep. With Angelina Jolie when she was a little child. Yep, I remember. Well, not a child, but you know, sixteen, a young teenager, six, sixteen yeah. or something. Um, yeah. Uh, and they, they, had, they had to jack in, <laughs> plug, plug into a thing. Uh, <laughs> I just don't like the idea at all. I don't like the idea of combining human and AI. Like, if you want to make AI, go for it, dude. Yeah, you I mean, to be trying to, be, to make to be, humans into AI, fuck off. As 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 long as it's just you know uh, voluntary and people want to put that in their head, go for it. Why? Well, I, well, know, I don't know why. The implications and the problems that this could cause. Well, you know. Uh, I mean, uh, we're already, you know, people are already being controlled supposedly by MK Ultra. Yeah, well, you, you know. You know how easy, like you said, you got to program it so they can program you to do crazy shit. Yeah, that, that there is always uh, that, that possibility, that threat. But, um, right. Just like with all the other technology that comes along, we find a way to to make it uh, so that we can we can deal with it, we can manage it. Um, so it just seems like there's, you know, I know what I know what I know about the human body. I know about the brain. I mean, I'm not a rocket or neuroscientist or anything or neurosurgeon. A rocket, but, a rocket surgeon, <laughs> or a rocket surgeon. I'm not that either. <laughs> But I do know that technology can be used two ways, usually, go- yeah. for good and for bad. Sure. And I, I worry about, I don't worry about it, but I think about that. If it's put in the wrong hands, like someone with, like, a, you know, bad agenda or something. Sure. How that could be easily programmed to make humans act just like a computer program right Grim? well sure you i mean and you know it comes down to the point of you know where where is it that um uh that you stop you know being able to think for yourself and i and i and i think that's that's really the situation as long as you could you can uh know what uh, what what your thoughts and and what is not your thoughts if they try and uh, do that with it, then, then that that's where a right. problem will, will, will lie. But but I, I think as, as long as you're able to uh, control it, not have it control you, then you're probably okay. Um, there probably is, Rob. You yeah, know? there is, I mean, and, and you, you know, um, well, we, we'll probably not get into CRISPR tonight, but uh, <laughs> that's gene that's gene level editing, which uh, yeah could and which can rewrite. DNA on the fly, um, 
which well, is... Well, they, they, they discovered the genome or whatever, right? Well, and, that, and, that, and that's... And that, well, well the of tech, course. Their DNA technology is, like, uh, or off the top, not off the charts now, because they, they know everything now, or a lot of everything. They know but, more but that, now but than that, they ever you know, did. Uh, well, using the CRISPR technology um, is is how we wound up with this corona stuff. Uh, using the, the gene editing, gene modifying, that you could do pretty much really simply now. They've made it so, well, like I said, we're not getting into CRISPR tonight. Um, okay. But that's where that came, that's, that's, if anybody wonders how they designed uh, this, quote, virus, unquote, because um, <laughs> it's not really a virus. Um, it, it, was, it was designed using, uh, using gene editing, using DNA editing. Um, so, uh, yeah, P- yeah, CRISPR is, is. I don't even know what CRISPR is. I've never even heard of it before. Oh uh, well, we've talked about it before. Here, probably, but it, uh, yeah, I know. But so, so look it up. We've and, been doing show first, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look it up and, and figure it out. But uh, anyway, so sad news. Sad news from this week. Uh, yep. Mr. Eddie Van Halen, Edward Van Halen. Yep. Passed away. He did. From cancer. Yes, indeed. And um, another one from that man. He, he was he was it was such a great influence on so many of our lives. Um, yeah, big time. I grew up listening to Van Halen. Yeah, well, I didn't actually grow up. I was already grown up. Well, not grow up, but I was a, yeah. in my teenage years. So anyway, well, um, in my high school years, Van Halen was like the most popular band ever. So oh, uh, he he was amazing. He was a uh, oh, freaking yeah, he was amazing incredible. guitarist. And um and 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 a showman. He was a great showman. Oh, you didn't know that, Rob? And and, and he was banging Valerie Bertinelli when she was hot. Yeah. <laughs> and she was hot. She <laughs> yeah. was hot. She was freaking she was hot. Definitely hot. Oh yeah. boy. So um. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. So. so uh, I mean, more props to him for that. <laughs> right. You know. Uh, Way to any, go, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> we're we're going to do a little tribute set here to him. Yes, um, we are. And, uh, yeah, a huge crush on Valerie. Oof. Oh, yeah. I watched one day at a time. I didn't have a crush on her. I just thought she was a bat. She was really cool. You know what I mean? Well, like, you, you, know. you could have had a crush on her. That would have been all right. Well, yeah, but, you know. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's a burst of over there, Graham. All right. <laughs> so the very first notes you ever heard, if you mm-hmm. bought the first Van Halen album, which was called Van Halen, and you right. set you set your stylus down on the turntable as it was spinning yep. at thirty three and a third revolutions per minute. This is what came out. Oh, my flavor is all guaranteed to satisfy. Uh, that was uh, Van Halen off of the uh, first album there, doing Ice Cream and David Lee Roth. Prior to that, we had uh, Talking About Eight, Talking About Love from uh, the Van Hagar years. Uh, you know, it was actually not from that those years, but that video was. Um, it was in Sammy Hagar uh, singing air for us. And we kicked it off with Eruption, You Really Got Me. Off the very first part of the very first album. Oh, man. So, uh, rest in peace, man. Rockin', rockin paradise, whatever you want to say. Rest uh, in peace, Eddie. Hey, you're up there with some great ones now, let me tell you. You are. Oh, you're boy. With the, some of the best up there, my maybe, man. Maybe, uh, uh, Rock and roll heaven. Neil, Neil Peart's up there uh, drumming for you now. Um, Neil Peart again. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, we we lost some. TV Rave on. We we lost some good ones this year, man. Let me tell you. Yeah, we John yeah. Prine. Oh my God. Yeah. Petty, Petty. I'm still not over Petty. I'm even though it was a few years ago. It, I'm still not over it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Understandable. Even um, Prince, I'm over it. You know what I mean? But yeah. Petty, no, oh, that just got me. Yeah. Same as John Prine. Same as Eddie. Yeah. Right, 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 right. I mean, it's just like, holy shit. 
Well, you know. But, you know, that's, that's, that is it. That's life, dude. Exactly. You know, I mean, you know, that's just the way it goes. You that's, don't know. I'm knocking on wood right here. Death, death is part of life. It's just the very last part. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's inevitable. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, we're all going to get there one day. You can't really day. escape it. You can't go, okay, I'm never going to age and I'm not going to die. That would be, like, unrealistic. <laughs> Unless, unless you're a vampire. Right. Well, maybe that'll happen. You know? Yeah, maybe. maybe I'll get bit by a vampire and... Sure, be yeah. Or whatever they say. It's possible. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll look like shit. I'll look like death, but... Yeah, now, now. At least now. I don't want to be out at night, you know? <laughs> I'm a night person. I'm already used to that. Yeah. Turning into a bat and flying would be sweet. Van Rush. Yeah, also, uh, now now uh, Eddie can play uh, with Michael Jackson again. So, Michael Jackson, yeah. They, they can play together Prince. again, like they did, you know, back on the... Uh, right. The, uh, what was Little that? Little Richard the, even is up there now. Yeah. Rock and Roll Heaven. Jerry Garcia. I mean, can you imagine the mega band that they got going on up there? Oh, yeah. Wherever up there is, wherever it is. <laughs> uh, Rob Works is asking an important question here. That he says, that's you know, why they hide. You know, yeah, they don't like sunlight, dude. Uh, I know that uh, they only come out at night because well, they he's, sunlight makes them fucking shrivel up and die or something. Because all the whiny ass humans would be falling. Yeah, out. they would. They, bite me. Some, bite me. I mean, seriously, no. there are people in this world that are so into vampires that they actually drink other each other's blood and they fucking actually get like. Dental implant of things, dude. Like vampires. Yeah, things. yep. There's, there's some messed up folk out there's there. There's some messed up motherfuckers out there. I mean, you can, uh, you can't really, you can try to fake me being a vampire, but there's no faking it, dude. You, you can look like one, but you can't be one. I mean, you well, can you, try to be you, one. You but... can look like what Hollywood wants you to believe they look right. like. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They 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 don't they don't look like right. us from the Anne Rice no. from the Anne Rice no. stories. No, they they don't. Look they do like... not look as good as like Brad Pitt did when he was a vampire. <laughs> right. No, they you don't look like that. Right. Yeah. They, and you, you don't know. look like as good as a fucking girl from uh, Twilight series, whatever her fucking name. She was not very good looking. She. She. Yeah, she's all right though. She's, she's all right. Yeah. Like I said, she's all right. Yeah. She, I mean, you know. But um, no, uh, it's, yeah, not, you ever it's, seen... it's not the Hollywood version. Like, the, the... have you ever seen like the old Dracula, like the black and white? Yeah, so I was gonna ask you. Did you ever see Nosferatu? Yeah, yeah, I've seen, yeah. I've seen every fucking vampire movie, probably, <laughs> except for these new ones that are all like toward the teenage. Actually, parties, actually you know, my my my, fa- my my favorite vampire movie series was The Bloodstone, um, which uh, there's like four of them. Uh, from the Bloodstone series. I don't think I ever watched that one. Oh, yeah, they're great. Those are great films. How old was that one? Oh, 70s, I think. Oh, see, that's why. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just like a Bloodstone, and you'll, it'll lead you to the rest of them. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, those those are those are cool films. <laughs> and I know they don't like garlic, and they don't like crosses. Uh, that's what they say. Uh, that's, no, that's... it's true. Well, you don't know. You have to know how to fucking come at them. <laughs> and you know what? They won't come into your house unless you invite them in. That that, true. That, uh, and that's a, some more of the myth. And once you we, invite we, them in, you're at their mercy, dude. We we don't know if that's true. So if true. you if you think someone might be a vampire, you might want to think twice before inviting them into your house. Okay. You might want to. They think, will not come in unless you ask them to. Yeah, you might want to think twice before inviting anybody into your house. <laughs> True. <laughs> yep, silver bullet will do it. No, a, silver. A stake sil- to the heart. So sil- silver a bullet. Stake sil- even through the heart will do it. Silver yeah. bullet is for werewolves. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was thinking. I got. See, you get your. You, you know your your um, creatures mixed up here. <laughs> but no, it's it's the garlic with the vampire. It's the stake through the heart, and it's the cross symbol, dude. And, That's and, the three main and water, I think. Or I don't know. You put a you put a stake through their heart. Oh, sunlight, sunlight. Yeah. You, you put a stake through their heart. You got to chop off their head and then burn them. Yep. Because you, you can't just put a stake through their heart. Will 
work for like the lower level vampire, but not like the higher up ones. It'll slow them down. Yeah, it'll slow them down, but it won't stop them. Yeah, it gives you, it gives you time to finish up. Holy water, holy water, also will make. Oh, you, know you know, another, yeah. you know, it's another great film, um, comedy vampire film, uh, James Woods Vampires. I never saw that. one. Oh, that's a fucking hoot, man. That's, a, that's you. You like that satire? I don't. Oh, it's, it's great. It. It's great. <laughs> it doesn't always work. There's this point in the film. James Woods he is talking to this this priest guy. Uh, yeah. That, that had just killed some vampires. He, he yeah. goes, so, so Padre, uh, back there when uh, you were you were chopping the heads off those vampires, they give you wood. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Hey, have you ever seen that one called Lincoln the Vampire Killer or whatever it was called? No. Is that Lincoln the Vampire Hunter? Oh, no, no. Uh, I, I, I think I actually might have it on my hard drive somewhere, but I never watched it. Yeah, I, that's a vampire movie. I know it is. I know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but no, I don't all, think... I mean, there's like this conspiracy theory going out there that that's actually true, dude. Uh-huh. I'm sure, like I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is. I'm sure. No. <laughs> But how many conspiracies can you think of or do you know of offhand? Not to put you on the spot here. How many things do you know of that started out as a conspiracy but wound up being true? All of them. <laughs> okay, but did you know ahead of time or did you did you conceive that like 911 would happen? I did not. But that's a big, big one, though. I know, but I didn't. I didn't think of it ahead of time. Some people did, but it wasn't okay, me. Okay, but what, which ones did you think of, or did you? You know what I mean. Which ones did I think of back? Like in... Roswell is that one of them? Oh sure, absolutely. Roswell's real. Um, okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you know, but there's all these other ones too. Um, like what? Like which ones for you? Well, I, I mean the real ones, the ones that happened. Gulf of Tonkin, uh, uh, of well, course. the false flag events. Yeah, yeah, false flag events that are yeah, you know, okay. those are considered conspiracy theories. JFK, of course. Um, right, of course, uh, that's a big one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, World War Two, Pearl Harbor. Um, right. Yeah, that that was that was you know, not necessarily a false flag, but a misdirection. Um, I mean, it was it was like. The United States egged on Japan to get them to do exactly what they wanted, which and was... And they, they, Japan was ready to... Okay, a lot of people probably don't know this, but Japan was ready to surrender. They were done, yeah. They were finished. They were ready, but the U.S. ignored that because they wanted to use these guiding bombs on them, so they dropped them. And all these school shootings, um, these mass school shootings, a bunch of nonsense going on there. The um, theater one in Colorado, the oh, Las yeah. Vegas one, Florida one, just yeah, right, yeah, various ones, Sandy the Hook, Star Wars, um, the Boston Marathon, right, just tons of them, just tons of them. Uh, yeah, uh, like Rob is going back in time, the Lusitania, even the Titanic, dude. Right, there was a lot of high, powerful, rich people on the Titanic, dude. Right, and uh, did I share with you the? Uh, the, yeah, the, Oklahoma City, JJ. Yep. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That was a big one. Yep. I shared with you the deal on the Titanic where this uh, person, this scientist, came you out. You said that about that it was like, would you, a missile or something? No, no, or solar, so, a solar storm. A solar sol storm. A solar right, storm. Right, right, right. Messed with their navigation. But uh, do you really believe that, Grim? I, I don't. I don't know. I, I don't believe that. The, I, because the, the Jacob, woman, the woman, John Jacob Astor was on that fucking boat, and well, the, he died. Right. He a lot was of huge, a, dude. a lot of a lot of big money people were on that boat. Yeah, a lot of. I think it was a plan thing. I don't Probably. think it was a, a, a solar thing. I just right. don't think that. I think or that or, or as Rob, or as Rob points out, just people opposed to starting the Federal Reserve. Right. Um, That's who they wanted to go away with because they knew they would be whistleblowers, dude. Well, not, if not that, they well, would at because, least be, well, they'd at least because, be strong no, enough. The Federal Reserve was created in 1913. The Titanic was 1914, but like it was Christmas Eve 1913. Right. But the Titanic went down April of 1914. Right. So that was right after. It was before they. It makes sense, Rob, because it was before they brought it in. Like they signed it that night, but they didn't put it into effect until later on. 
right? Because it didn't go into effect on in 1913 when they signed the papers. They had to like put it into place, right? Yeah, exactly. So it makes sense that they wanted these whistleblowers out of there, the ones that were against the Federal Reserve well, Bank. Yeah, not, not, were, and, not, right. necessarily, not necessarily whistleblowers, but people that could actually stop it from from right, going forward. Right, because they were rich enough to do it. Yeah, and and they they, yeah, they were like the Astros were probably richer than, richer than the Rock had more money than the Rockefellers. Right. So. At that time, I yeah. mean, it's very interesting if you guys think about it. I mean, the timing of everything. I don't the solar storm, Graham. I'm not buying that one. Well, it uh, but that could have also happened. We, it we could don't have, but I based on the facts that we just talked about and the timing of it all, it's totally suspect, dude. Oh, it could have been they coincidental. Wanted, they, they, yeah, they, they, they had they bolstered the people. This is the greatest ship in the world. This ship cannot sink. You will have we will have lifeboats. It's not going <laughs> to sink though. Blah 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 blah. And so they had all these rich people. Well, we can afford it. We want to be on the initial voyage. So they, they, they pumped it up, right? Oh, sure. And they knew only the rich people, certain rich people were going to do it, right? Well, yeah. I mean, and you know, coming right. at, Like co- no Rockefellers were on that boat. Okay? Okay. Coming, coming out of World War I, uh, people right. were looking for a, a, somehow to celebrate. You know, and so exactly, and, and so, they had this awesome ship, this unsinkable ship. They called it an unsinkable boat. Yes, they did. And yeah, the Olympus. What's that? Uh, sister ship of the Titanic. No, that was. Oh yeah, but which was one? The one that rescued them, though. Sorry, the sea. It was Sorry, another the, big boat, like, yeah. kind of like the Titanic, but smaller. But yeah, they did have two boats. I agree, Rob. I've heard that too. Yeah. But they were building two at one time, basically. A- a- anyway, so, I-, I mean... Okay, okay, so they switched it out. And they sailed that Titanic instead. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. But this is one that's great as an example because... Certain people knew not to go on that voyage, dude. Oh, right. Well, just like on 9-11, you know, that that building, those two buildings together held right. like 100,000 employees. Exactly. But and most, they told some of them to stay home. Most of them. They told almost all of them to stay home. Right. Yeah. And this what the little people, I don't, I don't mean little people, I mean the people on the lower end of the totem pole went to work. Yeah. And so, they knew that they would because how many people you figured worked there, you, did you say? 100,000. And, and 3,000 people went to work that day. No, well, more than that. I mean, a lot of people did uh, get right, out. Right, yeah, <laughs> but that's how many people died. But uh, Yeah, there was probably like 10, 12,000. 5,000 people probably yeah, went to work there. Yeah, there were 10 or 12,000 probably in there, and a lot of them got oh, out. Oh, that many? You well, yeah, that? because, I, I mean, you saw the... the right, yeah, the, I did. Yeah, the, the, you're right. The, no, the, I, I'm bad with numbers of crowds. You, and that you saw the, the crowds of people streaming out of the buildings. Um, right, right. And, and so, yeah, I mean, you know, a, a lot of people did get out, but certainly nowhere near... Uh, the capacity of what was what the people that, right. If that it was full was... capacity, the deaths would have been a lot higher. Right. Right. And yeah, in Oklahoma City, dude, that's that's that was an obvious one to me. Right. That didn't take me long to another nonsense one. The false flag. Well, uh, to to go after militias and and right. white, white supremacists and uh, and the guy that they put away for that. Timothy McVeigh. Yeah, he was a vet, you guys. He set that them up, dude, or they set him up. I oh yeah, absolutely. He was a vet. Okay, yep. he went. He was in Desert Storm or whatever it was. Right. And then he came back, and he was still like active military. So they totally because he like got in a fight with somebody or something on the base. Yeah. Or that he was known to have like a hot temper, right? Sure. So they basically picked him to do this thing. Right. Okay. Yeah. To be the patsy. Yeah. And he's in what he is he he's dead now I think isn't he? Who the gray? Tim McVay. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, yeah they totally. That was a total. Yeah, they, he was a patsy. They offed him. 
they did. Oh, they, yeah. they, they, that was one of the quickest offings. Uh, it was. Yeah, because they, they, they knew he would probably talk. If he could. If he had the chance, they needed to talk. Right? right, and they kept him away from people, dude. They totally kept him isolated. He did not, he wasn't in the general population at all. He was like solitary confinement. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, they wanted that building down. It was a federal building. And for some reason, whatever information, I think it was one of the things might have been the Sapruder film, like the full film. Oh, yeah, maybe. And I don't know what else they hold there in these federal buildings. But you guys, you're, you Everything. guys just had to spin off your body. All of us. If we <laughs> walk, we toured one of these facilities. Yeah. We, our heads would literally, we'd be like, okay, we knew that already. I knew that already. I knew yeah. that already. But you would learn more than you even thought of, dude. Right. I mean, it's all a game to them. Sure. And we are the game pieces. The pawns. Right? We are the pawns. Yep. And that's what it's all about. And I don't know, I know it, it might be boring to look up past history. But I just learned something today that I never even heard about before, Grim. What's that? Operation Popeye. Popeye? Yeah. Because they've released... Okay, so what they've been doing is releasing this old stuff thinking no one's going to pay attention. Mm -hmm. And I just learned about this in Operation Popeye. Was a military, sorry, I had to mute for just a second. A military cloud seeding operation carried out by the U.S. Air Force during the Vietnam War in 1967 through 1972. Okay. The highly classified program. To make it rain? Yeah. They okay. wanted, because they figured, I think part of it was because no one would notice because it's in Vietnam and it rains a lot there, right? Right. But they wanted it to really rain. You know why? No. Think about why do you think they would want it to rain a lot in Vietnam during the Vietnam War? I don't know, make it muddy. <laughs> and what else? What? How does the How does the Viet Cong travel throughout the jungle? I, I don't know. Tunnels. 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 Oh, okay. The Viet Cong had all their base, all everything, all their operation was basically underground in tunnels and shit. Okay. And that's why they wanted to rain more, to flood them fucking tunnels out. Which is and weird, because, I mean, it did be, it's like the United States didn't want to win that war. No, they wanted to stay in it. Like, they, they could have got out of it yeah, they years wanted to, before they did. They wanted to stay in it, but it's not like they wanted to win it. No, they just wanted to test their military equipment and shit. They just wanted to test their cloud seeding program, test yeah. the uh, napalm deal, Test of Agent Orange. They wanted to test a lot of shit out, and they used our boys and even the Vietnamese people as guinea pigs. Basically, it was a huge experiment. Right. I mean, it's sick when you think about it. If you really did, you you would learn that if you looked up the history, because it's it's not like I'm making this up. This is common knowledge at this point. Right. But the biggest conspiracy is what's going on right now. It's is, it's a good one, dude. And, I have to, and, you know, I and, gotta say, and this is they, not, you know, they this, they had us a lot of us scared. Not me and not you, people like us, but the, most of the people yeah, this got is, it. And this is this is not a conspiracy theory. Yeah, that's a wiki link. I don't, don't put that in the blog, girl. I'll give you a different link. All right. Yeah, it is global. That that's that's the thing. I it's, have a different it's link. It's globally too. coordinated. And it was figured out long before all this uh, Operation Lockstep, like we've yes. talked about. Um, and they've tested this shit, dude. Event, they tested the pandemic in October. We told you that. Right, Believe event 201. Believe it or not, it's fucking true. Right, Event 201. We're not the only, oh, sorry, Graham, go ahead. I just said Event 201. Yep. Um, and we're not making this up. Other people are talking about this. It's not just me and Grimner's opinion. <laughs> Hell no. It's been proven. <laughs> No, I mean, I wouldn't know anything about it if I didn't hear other people talking about it. You there? Hello? You with me? Oh, sorry, Graham. I, yes, I'm muted. I bumped the, you know how it is. 
All right. <laughs> I accidentally hit the mute button, but it's not just Grim and I that are thinking this stuff or talking about this stuff, you guys. Right. It's not our opinion. We don't. We we do share our opinion a lot, but on a lot of the subjects we talk about, it's fact. We're not making it up. We're reading stories that are historically correct. All right. So Absolutely. To sit there and go that we're this or we're that, whatever. We're just information and history junkies, dude. You know what I mean? We're just fucking weirdos. We're geeks, right? Yeah. I, yeah. I'm a fucking dork. Like, you know, I mean, most people don't give a fuck about this shit. <laughs> yeah, they don't. They're right. like, Operation Popeye, oh, well, cloud seeding, oh, yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, the government wouldn't do that. Oh, pfft, go away. <laughs> most people don't give a shit, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, if you don't, if you don't think people... Uh, recognize and realize things that are going on in the direction that they're going, and you think this is new stuff, you can go back to 1948 and, and see, right. see George Orwell's 1984. You can go look back, back further. Time go back time. further than that into the 1930s and, 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 and read Brave New World, um, yeah, and, and you can see how these are all kind of meshed together at this point. Um, and, well, back to the 1920s when they fucking put prohibition into place. Well, yeah, but that it was... It didn't work, but it did for a lot of the people. They people killed, bought into that. They killed a lot of people with that prohibition yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Dude. Yeah. So, I, I I mean, and you can go back even further, you know, 1800s, 1600s, and, and you can see people, uh, you right. know, re read people's writings. Um, uh, about, right, Rob. And, you know, we've been taught to not pay attention to that shit. Right. We've been taught to be patriotic and, you know, our trust the government. We make the government, the U.S. government cares about the people. That's what we've been told for generation after generation. But, but if you look back in history, you can see that is not true. That's a fucking lie. But, but, but I think the uh, big one, the big, the first big public one that came along was, yeah. J, was JFK. Yep. J, J, the J, modern J, one in modern history. Right, right. Uh, be, because, I mean, the story they told just didn't match yep. up with the fact. No, it did not. It just did not match. And I think that, that launched a lot of people saying, wait the hell a minute. The government's right. lying to us about this stuff here. So I think JFK, I mean, people didn't really know so much about Roswell um, from, no, you know, 47 on. Uh, it was highly right. controlled information. Oh, they hid that information. Oh yeah, highly controlled. Big time. Not oh, until the seventies. Not until the seventies did people top actually start looking right. at it. Right, top secret for so long, dude. Yeah, and Classified. you know, here's you know? The, here's the first the original story. Oh no, 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 no! It was a weather balloon. Right. Right. <laughs> so, so I, I, I mean, you know, you you could look at any of them, but the first really big public. Thing that made people question what the hell the government was doing. Well, maybe maybe McCarthy a bit too, but um, yeah. But but he wasn't trying to hide what he was doing. He was just being no, evil. No, he was blatant. Yeah, he was just being evil. Uh, but yep. but but JFK. That that was the yep, the, the that big, was a big one. The because... big first one. Then then of course you yeah, know yeah. Uh, the whole Bay of Pigs nonsense. Um, yeah. That happened there because. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that that was that was all messed up. Um, and, <sighs> yeah, that, that just... wasn't try to make um, him get impeached, but he he negotiated that. So that that was the first plan to get him out of there. And they're like, well, that didn't work. So now we got to fucking kill the fucking motherfucker. Right, right. And that's how they thought of him, okay? Because he was Democrat and he was Catholic. Oh, it's terrible, yeah. And he wanted to expose the shit. Right. And he didn't want to go along with all their plans and shit. Exactly. So they're like, you're done. We're taking you out, motherfucker, because we're going along with our plan, and you're not going to interfere with our fucking plan, bitch. Right. That's basically how they thought. Yeah. So that's who took him out. Yep, and so they put that freaking LBJ, man, what a piece of crap he the was. Biggest racist fucking motherfucking cunt. Even his wife was a fucking cunt. <laughs> yeah. And Jackie, when... Okay, so cruel and unusual punishment, right? 
Yeah. You see your husband, you're sitting next to your husband, and his brain gets fucking shot the fuck out, and you got his blood on your fucking clothes. Yeah. And two hours later, you're on Air Force One standing next to the motherfucker that fucking orchestrated his murder, watching him being sworn in as president. Right. And they said, do you want to change clothes before... Uh, you know, we, we you go to the swearing in, and she's like, "No, I want them to see what they did. I want everyone to see what they did." So yeah. she fucking knew, it, you know what I mean? Sure, she knew. Oh well, yeah. Yep. I mean, you know, I'm sure he he he'd, he'd had uh, threats for quite a while prior to that happening. Yep. yep. So. And uh, she was basically in shock because this or shock because this was like two hours later. Yeah. And she was basically in shock, dude. I mean, sure. she's just standing there. She was, like, in shock. Yeah, yeah, You know, yeah. I mean, can you only imagine, right? Right. And everyone, my mom and dad talked to me about that when I was a kid. They remembered that day. Everyone that was around that day remembers that day. And oh, you yeah. You were old enough to remember it. I was, I was not. Day. I was only three. I, was, I wasn't even born yet, so. Yeah. But, uh. Anyway, he was, I mean, no, it was just like Grimm. It was like when he was elected, people had hope. You know what I mean? They had like, like, kind of like this Obama uh, thing. Right. Which was false, but they had hope. They're like, okay, this guy is going to make a difference. You know what I mean? He's a family man. He's got a beautiful wife. He's got, you know what I mean? Right. They, They really like loved him. They loved him. You know what I'm saying? A certain the percentage. The whole country. A certain percentage of the people did. Uh, right. There's, there's never not been. Not the Republic, not some of them. Right. Yeah. Not the ones that wanted to keep their agenda going. Not he the ones. They wanted to come in and stir things up, and they had nothing. They were like, no way, dude. Not You're the, not not the ones it. that wanted uh, Nixon or somebody like that in there. Of course, they got right. him later. Of course, they got him later, but. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, what, a, what a mistake that was, but, yeah. <laughs> right. No kidding, Rob. I mean, you, we could talk about this every week. Yeah, yeah. Three you total, know, total. I mean, but it, my point is, is that people are so in the moment all the time and have such tunnel vision all the time. Oh, yeah. They, 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 like, they just don't remember. Broaden your horizons a little bit. Don't be such a freaking... I don't know how to word it, what the word is, but a follower or just a, I don't know. I don't know what the word is. Like, don't be a bandwagon jumper just because you think they're on the right side or something. You know, it's just, and then be mean to people that don't believe the same thing you do. That's just crappy, dude. It is. It's, it's crappy. Very, very... It's, it's so immature and narrow-minded, dude. It's just. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's like, yeah. Anyway. All right, I think we need a music break. Right? Yeah, we do. All right. Now, this this first track I'm going to play, um, if any anybody out there is familiar with Orianti, um, it's been a while since she put something out, and she put this this song out earlier okay. this week, or last Friday, I guess. Um, uh, it's different. It's a different look for her. And uh, the sound, she's, she's a great guitarist. Um, okay. But uh, if there's any guys, or girls for that matter, out there that like seeing women um, skimpily clad. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't like that? I mean, I don't, well, I'm not gay, but, you know, I'm not ashamed of the human body, I, you know. All right, well. I'm not that uptight. You'll see her and some others. Great, awesome. Skimply, and she's, she's a good looking girl. Uh, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. No, no, no nothing at all. You, you got uh, it, want it, as long as you can. So this is all the way. I don't know if I like it as well as some of her older stuff, but okay, I did enjoy the video. All righty, <laughs> here we go, Oriante. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Pink Floyd, welcome to the machine. Welcome to the machine. Did you hear that title of that song? You know what they were talking about? Look around the world right now. 
Yeah, I know what they're talking about. <laughs> Before that, BMFS or uh, Billy Strings, y'all. Um, Hell well, yeah. Watch Hell it, yeah, baby. W- watch it fall. And we kicked it off there with Orianti uh, doing her new track, Impulsive. Uh, I guess it was an interesting song. Uh, maybe not, you know, up to par to some of her older stuff, but uh, it was good. It's good still. It's good. Yeah, yeah. very good. Yeah. Very good stuff. So... Yeah, so what other freaky shit can we talk about, Grim? Yeah, well, I got to mention there in the chat, think of all the episodes of Twilight Zone. Um, right, uh, yeah. Th- oh, that, my God, that, I, I love that show. That, yeah. that, that should have served should have served as a warning uh, to us right. all. Right, like, um, guys, you got to think of yourself. Like, there's nothing wrong with it, and it doesn't hurt. Like seriously, it doesn't like to, it doesn't hurt to broaden your knowledge or broaden your horizons. You know, um, yeah. you don't have to be going to school to be a student. Okay, I will be a student my whole life. I want to be. I like learning new shit. You know what I mean? I like learning new stuff. I like researching. I mean, that's just maybe my nature, you know. But mm-hmm. I mean. You like learning new stuff, right, Graham? Absolutely. Excuse me. Like coding stuff or computer stuff, and like you, you're always like on top of all the latest like technology and everything. Well, the boys have got a new one out on the seventeenth of okay. March, and this one. Stupid video. That's, okay. That's all right. That's okay. I know they do the auto start craft, and you're like, I did not want you to instantly play just because I clicked on you. Yeah. Well, and, and I have a thing to stop yeah. the auto start, but it doesn't always work. <laughs> okay. Yeah, great. But anyway, I mean, I want I want to be like the consummate student. Yeah. You know, in life in general, like Night Rob. All subjects are interest Good night, Rob. All subjects are interesting to me to a point. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I do catch myself going, "Matt, he's like, "What?" I'm like, "The faucet's loose. Can you please fix that for me?" <laughs> You know what I mean? Uh huh. Or Matt, um, this is not working right. <laughs> but if I really wanted to, if I had to, if I didn't have my son Matt to come rescue me, you know, yeah. in a certain circuit, I would have to look it up on YouTube. And I've done this myself. I've I've actually felt good about myself a couple times by fixing stuff on the the um, vehicles, you know, by looking it up online. Right. And looking at YouTube videos and stuff like that. I just like doing that because it keeps your mind, like, young or it keeps your mind sharp, Hopefully. I believe, you know. And I believe that we're being bombarded with, like, chemicals and all this shit that you have to do a lot of things to keep yourself, like, protected from some of this stuff. Yeah. And one of them is keeping your mind sharp, Okay. And not you, like, okay, I'm just going to do a couple things that I do for myself. I do not consume any products with aspartame. I do not use deodorant that contains aluminum. I use natural deodorant or none at all, okay? Um, well, I do, I would prefer, to, I need to get a water filter because I prefer to filter the fluoride out of my tap water if I can do it. Oh, they're having okay? a deal. They're having uh, a crystal question. Okay. He's having a deal right, right now. Oh, good. I'm going to look it up. I'll post the link, Grim. I'll look it up right now. All right. But I did I did plug Crystal Quest on Clyde's show, too, in the chat room anyway. Okay. Because people were saying they need water filters. Um, But you sent me one, Grim, and it might still be viable. But I was, it's been like 10 years since I used that fucking thing. You know what I mean? You're not even using it? No. I have never. Remember, I had the problem with the faucet. Oh, okay. I could never get it to not leak or not mm. shoot up. You know what I mean? Like, I haven't tried to use it for a while, but I'm just saying right. well, we have uh, the filter on the refrigerator water that we use. But, uh, a little a little Teflon tape goes a long way. But we, I know, but we do, <laughs> have, which I have that tape. But we have plumber's tape here. That's but, I mean, our water is pretty good here compared to other places in the country. Right. So, I mean, that's not an excuse, but. Ah, uh, Yeah. You know, it's laziness. Okay. Right. Whatever. Right. But I need a new one because I don't know how good that one is that we, I have right well, now. Well, it depends on how much you've used it. 
It should be fine. It's old, though. Like, they have better ones now. Yeah, yeah, 100 bucks, you can get a nice one. Yeah, 100 bucks. But I would think that I would want a different... I don't like the... Actually, the under-the-counter one would be better. Yeah, pain in the ass put in, though. No, once it's hooked up, though... Yeah, once it's hooked up, it's fine. Yeah, once it's hooked Even up, it's fine. Even if you have to replace the filters, once if it's hooked up, you got the main work done. And then... Right. Well, I use the... The water smells fine here, Cowboy Tech. No, we have awesome water here where yeah. I live, yeah. okay? I'm lucky where I live, okay? Because yeah. we have, like, spring-fed fucking water, dude. Like, we have good water here, okay? Let me open my email. We have even better water here in Eau Claire than I did up north in Hayward, okay? Seriously. Yeah. yeah. The water's awesome here. Yep. Okay, it's the October Flash Sale, 12% off. Of, Pretty uh, good. On the, on the crystal, all the home, all the home-based filters. Oh, good. Yep. Um, I would highly recommend that, and you can get different sizes. Like, you can spend a minimal amount. You can get, like, a pitcher water filter now they have, or you can get ones that you hook up to your actual, fil- you know, water system. Yeah. And they also have, I see, Graham, they also have now ozone air and yeah. the surface din- disinfection systems. Sure, sure. And a lot of... A lot of companies I've noticed since this whole COVID thing and shit, um, they're jumping on this this idea that, oh, you need to sanitize everything. <laughs> you know, which I get it to a point if you're in a closed office building every day. Yeah. You don't want to be breathing in toxic shit eight hours a day. Right. You know, you would pre- would rather be you'd be better off working in a building with a good filtration system. This is the way of the world now. You know, back in the seventies, Graham, it used to be L.A. with the smog. Remember? Sure. And then they, they, they did that whole stuff with making the engines better and but more environmentally friendly. Right. And that's when the cars started getting smaller. The engines started getting smaller. Right? Right. And that was all based on this whole um, pollution problem. And this, I mean, you remember the 70s, dude. You remember the cowboy commercial, right? Cowboy Where he's riding a Native American, and they have him dressed as a chief, right? Yeah. And he was actually even not a Native American. I think he's Mexican or or, or a mixed origin, but he looks Native American, so they, he got the job because he's like an actor. Right. In the 70s in New York. And so they got this Native American. You guys might be too young to remember this commercial, but you can look it up. And they got this Native American riding on a horse like the streets of New York City, right? And they show all this garbage piles and all this 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 just fucking pestilence and poor uh what do they call it? Poverty. Right? Right. And then they show this huge garbage dump and the end of the commercial is with tears coming down the Native American's face. Like, they, they zoom in on them. Right? Right, right And so right. that was the 70s. This was, like, 74, 76. And so then, and like, uh, Earth Day happened in, like, 1970, I think, or 71. But, so everybody got on this bandwagon in the late 70s to, like, clean up the rivers and clean up the garbage. And this is when all these landfills were created. They're like, well, we'll just take this spot right here and fucking make it into a fucking garbage dump. And once it gets big, we'll just leave it and, like, grass grow on it and shit. Yeah. That's what they do. That's what a landfill is, okay? Or or some of them in New York, I think they just started piling shit in a pile, right? Right. And then once the pile got too big, they're like, okay, we're done with that one. We'll move to another spot to put the garbage. We'll just let the grass grow on this one for now. Yeah. Or they just like, well, we'll just dig a big hole, and then that'll give us more space to put the garbage. We'll dump it in the hole, and then we'll pile a little bit of it on top of the hole, and then we'll just let, you know, grass cover it up. Yeah. That's how we've taken care of garbage in this in this country. And also... I've learned that some company or some people in some countries are actually trucking their garbage to another state and dumping it there or some 
states are trucking their garbage to another state and dumping it there. Or some companies hire, like, their garbage to be shipped out to a different country, but when it, what they're actually doing is basically just dumping it in the fucking ocean, okay? Yeah. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I remember this, like, environmental, like, crusade back in the late 70s where we got to take care of the environment, right? Which was the right thing to do because at that time, it was sucky, dude. There was the rivers were not swimmable. Like like George Carlin said, when he swam in the Hudson River, it was like swimming in shit. Yeah. Because they didn't have the technology that they have now, and a lot of raw sewage was being dumped into rivers in major cities for a long time. You guys, that's fucking gross. <laughs> you know, I mean, so I guess my point is, Grim, is that back in the 70s, we were talking about alternative forms of energy and stuff did get cleaned up. OK, companies weren't allowed to dox their, or dump their toxic waste right directly into waterways anymore. Yeah. There was regulations and shit. But then if you know the right people and you pay the right money, they lessen the regulations a little bit. Right. Sure. So that's how we're still here at this point. Why they're still get companies are still getting away with this shit, dude. Yeah, maybe the rivers are seem cleaner or are cleaner, but are they really? I mean, our water system. Uh, Frumpy was talking about Prozac earlier, like back in the late eighties right. or early nineties. Prozac was the drug of choice. Like they tried to say, oh well, if you're depressed, all you gotta do is take this pill. And you won't be as depressed, right? Mm -hmm. But what Prozac does, basically, is make you into a fucking zombie. You know, it makes it, it makes you feel really weird. Like, you don't know what's going on. You know what I mean? Maybe some people need that. I don't know. But to me, and then he was making the point, though, that a lot of that shit ended up in the water. You know? Right. And it even goes on today. People will flush their fucking unused meds on the toilet. That goes into the water supply. Right. Even if you put, if you, if you're better off throwing your pills out in the garbage and having it go to a landfill. Because then it might not get in the water supply as readily, right? Yeah. But that used to be the thing to do if you flush it down the toilet, right? Sure. If you don't want it to be discovered, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you you were you were talking about the uh, uh, Native American thing. Here's yeah, a, here's a film for you. Okay. Because you know who, you know who's in that film. No. Russell Means. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, cool. I mean, we've been duped, you guys, and not just this generation or this time around. This is nothing new what's going on this year in 2020. They've done this stuff for a very long time. Sure. These false flags, these these lockdown shit, the regulations, the this, the that, the, the everything. I mean, we've basically been guinea pigs <clears throat> since 1913. Mm -hmm. So I don't know when you're... You guys started here in this country, or your ancestors, your relatives, but I know for a fact that my relatives came here, or ancestors came, my great great grandparents came here. No, my great grandparents came here when they were like young kids, like three or four or something. Yeah. And that was like 19, or maybe 18, late, late eight. No, it had to have been like. I don't know exactly. 18 something. Late 1800s probably. Okay. Like 1898 or 1899 or something like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or even yeah. earlier. I don't know. But, you know, it's just um, history says a lot. We've been duped since that long. You know what I'm saying? Oh, easily. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
just they don't want you to be yourself. They want you to be in a high of being controlled, sure. I guess. Yeah. You know, they don't want you to be an individual and be successful. If you're a successful businessman, they want a piece of your pie, dude. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> they want you you and gotta pay gonna, your taxes. You gotta yeah. you know and they are or gonna, you gotta hire people to lobby for your cause and you gotta pay them millions of dollars and to get their candidate elected that will make pass a regulation or undo a regulation that you want done. And that's how our government is. It's corrupt as fuck, dude. Right. You know, the the payoffs and the buyouts and the, you know, it's, it, if you guys can't see it for what it is, I don't know what to tell you, but you can sit there and say, oh, I'm crazy. Oh, I'm not right. I don't know what I'm, you know what? Bullshit. I am right. Yeah. I am right. I am correct in what I'm saying. I'm talking about history, historical fact, and you can deny it all you want. But if you're going to deny historical fact, that means you're a fucking dumbass, dude. Right. I mean, come on. It's historical fucking fact. It's not made up in my head or something. We're being poisoned. I walked outside yesterday. It's a beautiful day. It's Thursday. It was blue skies for like Monday through Wednesday, right? Mm -hmm. Yesterday. Same kind of weather. Beautiful weather here. 70 degrees. Walk out there. Beautiful blue sky except for one thing. Huge chemtrail. Huge one. I mean, a long one. And it was, I, 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 it must have been sprayed like three hours before I saw it because it was wide as hell. I'm like, oh, that's great. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I'm outside with my dog. I'm like, oh, we're being fucking doused with fucking toxic shit right now. Sure. And you know what pisses me off about that? And, and I know a lot of other things piss me off more than that. Or I don't know what, you know, what should or not, should or should not piss someone off. But, it pisses me off that they have not told us about these. They're they're spraying us with toxic shit. And it bums me the fuck out and it makes me very angry. It's yeah. like what the fuck? Right. And they've been doing this for over twenty years, dude. <laughs> C T. Uh. Hey, I'm on the fucking radio, dude. You wanna fucking go up against me? Do a radio <laughs> show and then we'll talk. All right? <laughs> because you can't have you're not in radio it's just a well-known fact that you're not supposed to have more than four sec seconds of dead air dude yep dead air and is if dead you, if you did radio you would know that he knows. if you had he the knows. balls he... enough to do a radio show you would know that he's just tweaking you he's just tweaking i know you. but i'm just saying <laughs> you got something to say fucking do a radio show okay all right anyway you want to fucking be right and be have attention on you do a radio show Anyway, Moose, did you see the Go link? I, the, the link I put in there for the filter. That's that's the one I use. If you if you click that link okay, there, okay, yeah, I see it. Uh, if you click that link and you select uh, fluoride, that's plus, the countertop one though. Yeah, I know. As I said, that's the one I use. So, right, but I don't have a lot of counter space, dude. I don't want yeah. a thing that I have to clean up. Like if it's under the sink, they have under the sink ones, and no, you don't have to clean I'm them off. And they don't saying, get dirty and splashed on everything. I'm just saying that's the one I use. Which is a cheap one because it's only $104. Well, if you click the uh, the little drop down there and you pick fluoride plus smart, it's 124 Oh, well, that's not that bad. No, no, it's decent. And with the 12% uh, 12, right. the, the 12 discount that you're getting right now, so you take whatever. Right, 12, I mean, but there. like I'm just saying, my experience with the countertop one, I just think the better setup is the under the sink one. Yeah. Because you can have, like, three of them motherfuckers under there, and it won't take up any room on your countertop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would just say, these, for me, this works perfect. But but you're a single guy. You I'm probably have a lot of countertop guy. space, and, you know, everyone's setup is different. I mean, yeah. I mean, but if you if, if that's all you can afford is this one. Well, it's not a matter of that. It's, it's that a, a matter of I like to I like – it's convenient to me. It's really convenient. You just – Set it up there. You do know up. they have whole house ones now, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need all that. I just. I know, I'm, but I'm, you know I'm, what? I'm, Your I'm, shower. I mean, you know, it'd be good to have one for your shower. Well, I have, you have, I have, shower I have a shower. I have a shower filter from them. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because I'm saying the skin absorbs. You know. Yeah, yeah. The skin's no, I, like I, a sponge. Yeah, I have the shower filter. 
Okay. Mm. It, it's, the shower filter doesn't do fluoride, but, you know, whatever. Right, but it gets <laughs> all the other shit, you know. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, right, yeah. Um, since uh, since this is uh, 2020 and stuff is going on. and Oh, my God. This is the year from fucking. So here we go. I don't know where. Four asteroids the size of jumbo jets, one the size of a car, to fly <laughs> by to fly by Earth over the next six days. Now this article came out yesterday, so maybe one of them already flew by. Um, so more and more near Earth bound Earth Earth bound objects pose a risk to life on the planet uh, than ever before. So um, here we go. Uh, let's see. What is today? The ninth. So. Uh, Two yep. flew, two supposedly flew by yesterday. One today, uh, one on the thirteenth and one on the fourteenth. So um, well, we we got some inbound, inbound, earthbound asteroid activity coming our way. We're <laughs> come on, big asteroid! Yeah, bring it on! Bring it on, Mister Meteor! Great, sweet meteor of death. <laughs> so, so there's the link that's over there on yeah, IntelliHub. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's all we need. IntelliHub. We need that, and we need, what else, Grim? The alien invasion. Yeah, the alien invasion and um, stuff like that. But until we get that, uh, apparently, apparently the, the case is that uh, these there's these people that have these um, doomsday camps set up. Doomsday yeah. camps. And for the first time ever, for the first time ever, they are going to activate them due to the risk of what? Corona? COVID-19. No, no, not so much. Oh, thank God. Uh, I mean, pick the universe. Due to the risk of election violence. Oh, my freaking God. (laughs) I mean, I thought that was going to be something cool. (laughs) Well, (laughs) you know, that's not cool. I mean, like no, no, this while 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 Corona is a huge hoax, the election violence is is probably could be very real. So uh, anyway, his concerns are mounting that the the mass protests, violent confrontations between extremist groups, and widespread property damage could be seen on election day and the days after. If the outcome of the election is undecided, chaos could linger for weeks, if not months. Like a, this year, we've been linger, it's been lingering and going on for ten fucking months, dude. Yeah. Anyway, the, we, the, we've been already dealing with this crap. The, the prospects of civil unrest around Election Day have prompted a chain of U.S. survival communities to activate, opening their doors for members to hunker down in the bomb shelters with an abundance of weapons and ammo and a year's worth of food. Well, you might need more than a year's worth. Um, <laughs> Reuters reports that Fortitude Ranch, <laughs> Doomsday Camps in West Virginia and Colorado will both open facilities to members on Election Day because of the threat of social unrest. Like that's not what's been going on all year. So so be ready for that. Right. Be ready for that. They think it's going to be bad. They think it's going to be like a civil war. And it might, it could well be. It might be. I mean... It's we good. talked well, about this grim privately, but I mean, it seems like some people want that. Like, oh yeah, sure, sure there, sure there are. But, I mean, I mean, these people that want that are, are crazy. They, they're crazy. Do they know what they're really? They're insane. The whole world is insane, but they're more what? insane. They're, they're, uh, if you, I mean, they they <laughs> they're absolutely insane to yeah. want that. Um, but that's all right. That's just the way it goes. So. Um, you're sitting in your house, and you're like, I'm going to support this side, but yet all I'm going to do is what I'm doing now. I'm not changing my behavior. I'm going to do my job. I'm going to do this, do that. I'm going to sit on my fucking ass. But yet, what are you going to, are you going to say sitting on your ass when there's a civil war going on outside your, on your street, right outside your front door? You ain't going to be able to just be sitting on your fucking ass being a keyboard <laughs> warrior typing your hatred and yeah. ha- your side of the story. You're going to be having a fucking board up your windows and shit. I your, mean, your, your tweets ain't going to matter. You think war is pretty and convenient and it's done via the Internet? <laughs> Hell no, dude. Hell war no. is bloodshed. 
bloodshed and devastation, dude. Yeah. And rape and murder. War is not fucking pretty or convenient. Or fun. No. It's, 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 it's not like a music festival. It's, it's not like you're going to be sitting there playing Call of Duty. <laughs> right. This ain't Call of Fucking Duty, cunt. This is real fucking life. Yep, yep. And if last year ready, you're going to be fucking done. You're going to be fucking killed. All right. Raped probably first, maybe, then killed. So, or if you're right. lucky, just killed first. Yeah, I don't know. So anyway, so assume, assuming that didn't get your dander up, try this one. <laughs> try this no, one. I'm really, I have to mute now. Like, I have to mute. I, okay. I'm going to mute. This is, this is on LouRockwell.com. Round up the anti-vaxxers. <laughs> yeah, enlist religious leaders. Bill Gates warns the United States needs to brainstorm ways to reduce, and get, catch this little phrase, this will be coming your way. This will be heavy. Remember, remember months back, before it was actually a phrase in the in the common verbology of people, uh, <laughs> social distancing. When I brought about it uh, on on the, on the show before uh, before that became a thing, this will be the new thing coming your way. It's called vaccine hesitancy. Vaccine hesitancy. <laughs> I'm not hesitant about about vaccines. I flat out say no and fuck you. Uh, anyway, so billionaire software. Yeah, soft fuck you. Exactly, billionaire software tycoon Bill Gates has urged urged the United States to prepare prepare for a COVID nineteen vaccine rollout by deputizing trusted community leaders to reduce vaccine hesitancy. Hesitancy, bemoan, bemoaning the rapid spread of conspiracy theories online. The Microsoft founder turned vaccine evangelist painted a mostly rosy picture of a vaccine rollout on getting rich countries back to normal by the end of next year. And an, <laughs> so not for a whole another year and three months. Uh, so <laughs> in an interview during a Wall Street uh, Journal CEO Council on Tuesday. However, with less than half of Americans saying they would get the COVID jab, even if paid a hundred bucks for it, in a recent survey, Gates then focused his talk on enlisting the nation's trust network. There's another little phrase coming your way, trust network, uh, to go along with vaccine hesitancy, to overcome the skeptics. I'm not a skeptic. I know it's poison, and I'm not taking it. So lamenting the vaccine hesitancy is in all countries and predates the pandemic. Gates suggested the American health uh, officials start thinking about which voices will help reduce the hesitancy so we can get a level of vaccination that really has a chance of stopping the virus. Oh, it would be something if it was a real thing, that it was really out there killing real people and not just a bunch of faked up numbers, but it's not. And uh, and if you had an actual thing that actually worked, and not this mocked up crap poison that you want to shoot into everybody's blood. So um, just be ready for that fat phrase, vaccine hesitancy, to be coming your way, uh, and the trust network thing as well. So uh, th those, those are terms, terminology. Uh, you know, um... Yeah. But since I pissed you off on those couple last ones, <laughs> I'll give you this one. That'll not okay, that'll do the opposite. Wonderful. Do, I can't wait. That'll do, that, wait. that'll do the that'll do the more opposite. good news. Awesome. It, well, it'll do the opposite of pissing you off. So Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's great, you know. If you're not pissed off, you're not fucking paying attention. There you go. So, there you go. Netflix indicted on felony charges in Texas. Good, 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 good. For cuties. Promoting lewd material of children. So they're indicted for felonies uh, in Texas anyway. So um, I don't really have too much else to say about that. I mean, Netflix is, is standing by. Yeah. They're standing by the film. Um, and, yep, and they are. And they're saying it's a great thing and blah, blah, right. blah. 
So what? Whatever. And you know, um, they call it a coming of age movie, and that's the defense of it, right? Yeah. It's Excuse nonsense. me, if that's coming of age these days, where you got little girls, eleven years old, twelve years old, dressing like fucking strippers, and that's dan- not normal, dude. Dan- that's dancing. Not, that's what the if that if that's the agenda you're trying to promote, you're yeah. a sick mother fucking pedophile, dude. Yes, you are. You know, I mean, come on now. Do you come want on now. little girls dressing like strippers? Come on, man. As a Can Biden, you see the problem? Can as, you see as, the problem as, in this? Can you come come on, problem? man, as Biden would say. Um, Do you, I mean, when they start lowering the age of consent. <laughs> to eight years old. Yeah. To eight years old, that should be a fucking wake-up call. I would okay? hope so. I would hope so. If you're going to have, I mean, a lot of people don't have kids and don't have any chance of becoming a grandparent, but if you are a grandparent, or if you could be one, that should piss you off, dude. It should. It should. And let it piss you off while you listen to this music. All right. Sounds good, Grim. Once again, for Eddie. Okay, Moose. Talk. See if I can hear you clearly. Most, most girl. Hello, hello. Yes, hello. Yeah, my audio yeah. worked on you. We're going to have to stop. Yeah, your audio is fucked up. Yeah, all right. Well, that's every the end of the show. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, sorry, guys. Have a good one. Yeah, we have to uh, reboot this whole thing. So. Yeah, all right. this is messed up. All right. Well, well thanks for tuning in. Uh, talk to you all later. Yep. Yep. See ya. Yep. Bye.